Amazon reportedly tried to shut down a virtual event for workers to speak out about the company's coronavirus response by deleting employees' calendar invites. Here's a summary of the article. Amazon attempted to shut down a virtual event where workers spoke out about working conditions at the company's warehouses by deleting employees' calendar invites, organizers told the Seattle Times. Emily Cunningham and Marin Costa, two of the event's organizers who were fired by Amazon last week after publicly criticizing its coronavirus response, told the Seattle Times that the company deleted the invites from its internal calendar, though several hundred employees had already seen and accepted it. Amazon has shown they will not allow us to share details for how to join the meeting internally, so we are forced to gather externally. Amazon Employees for Climate Justice, the group behind the event, wrote in a Google form announcing the event. We want to tell Amazon that we are sick of all this, sick of the firings, sick of the silencing, sick of pollution, sick of racism, and sick of the climate crisis, Costa said Thursday during the event, which was attended by around 400 Amazon employees, according to Computer Weekly. Amazon refused to comment on claims by Cunningham and Costa that it deleted calendar invites, but said in a statement to Business Insider, we support every employee's right to criticize their employer's working conditions, but that does not come with blanket immunity against any and all internal policies. We terminated these employees for repeatedly violating internal policies. The company has come under fire in recent weeks from workers who say Amazon hasn't done enough to protect them from COVID-19, with people testing positive for the disease in at least 74 of the company's facilities. Later that week, a leaked memo obtained by Vice showed Amazon executives discussing efforts to mount a PR campaign against Smalls, calling him not smart or articulate. Following news of the memo, Amazon told employees it may fire those who intentionally violate social distancing rules at work. This post received a score of 69,000, with an upvote ratio of 91%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. This is not that important but this is the original source of the news. Hey, original source is always important so thank you for providing it. Agreed. We must always strive on having the freshest source. It might not be the freshest, but it is the sauciest. I like mine with basil. It seems Amazon considers that once you are large enough bad PR is just the cost of the business. Isn't this how these companies become large enough? Nah, if you're small no one will look at you if you've bad PR. Yup, it's really easy to boycott a mom and pop shop out of business. But larger companies usually have so many revenue sources that it's virtually impossible to boycott completely and even then you need full cooperation from the entire country, world which will never happen. Yep. You couldn't boycott Amazon even if you wanted to. AWS makes up something like 40% of the cloud. Reddit is on AWS. So is Netflix. So is Zoom. So is Twitter. A ton of online stores use AWS in the back end. Twitch, Airbnb, Adobe Creative Cloud, Capital One, the ICAO, you get the idea. Edit, don't forget that they own Whole Foods now, so you can't even buy delicious overpriced healthy stuff without bending over for Bezos anymore. I do boycott Amazon, and I am pretty sure Jeff Bezos is really mad about it. So you're the asshole holding up our economic recovery. The Onion is so fucking good. This is one of their best. There's nothing in Bill's history of household expenditures to suggest he would buy anything over $75 without confirmation from his wife, Anita, and she's in meetings all day. As a ex-car salesman, this hits so close to him. Amazon has never before been more vulnerable to unionization. If these guys ever want the fair share of the proceeds of their labor, they need to strike while the iron is hot. Pun intended. Greater than Amazon has never before been more vulnerable to unionization. Why? Because the general public has never been shown who is really essential like this before, and the shitty working conditions and pay these essential workers receive will never be more visible. Maybe use personal calendars instead of putting it on the company calendar. Seriously now, organizing a strike on the company comms is a pretty stupid move. Just advertise a link to the Discord or something. Lol you think your AVG Amazon worker is on Discord? Reddit's in a massive fucking bubble and is completely unaware of it. They're talking about beating up scabs but aren't even talking about reaching out to warehouse workers over Facebook.
This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.